Yeah, he's lying. I'm oh. telling you face to face. You are lying to lying us. Lying about what? Ah, you freaking said it. I remember do you know, everything. Do you know I was so pissed. If anybody because knows I came me. out of the house and then lots of people called me see, and they sat me if down. If anybody and they were like, knows me here, watch right? these videos. If anybody knows this one person thing that you thought was your brother. Anybody knows this one thing this person was, was saying anybody. about you. If this is it. And I watched them and I felt betrayed. Um, he's not my friend. We're just Are you cool with him? I don't care. I just needed to be sure that everybody... One thing I've come to understand in life is that if somebody feels that you betray them or somebody feels hurt by you, the truth is that it doesn't matter your intention, if you meant it or you didn't mean it, just identify that the person's feelings are valid. And, you know, a lot of things are going to be settled in this life. On this note is where I'm going to talk about the prince and new situation. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is your girl Philomena Moses in the building. If this is the first time here, you came at the absolute right time. Please do well to hit on the subscription button. Thank you. If you're a regular viewer, you know I love you so much with all of my heart. And without further ado, let us talk about the Big Brother Ninja Lockdown Reunion Day 11. Okay, this episode started with a clip, the bass boss clip between Lucy, Nengi, and then the bass boss between Kaisha and Nengi as well. So when they came back, Ebuka was like, Nengi, what's up? What's up? And Nengi was just smiling. She was like, see, for the whole Kaisha own, really, she can't even remember how everything just went from zero to hundred. But for Lucy's own, she said she had to confront Lucy because she felt like Lucy was trying to tell her how to live her life. She's an adult. She's a human being. She can choose to do whatever it is she wants to do if she wanted to play with boys do anything she wanted to do it is her decision and she was going to live her life that lucy had no rights to come and start telling her that and that was a misunderstanding that she had that made her you know confront lucy like that so in lucy's defense here you know the clip that they played said oh she's the one that likes to be touched by men go and touch her so lucy is saying that she didn't really mean it that way yes that nengi likes to play with boys and all even for her she has a lot of male friends than female friends so it was not a strange thing to her that old oh, nengi was close to guys but she just felt like nengi needed to stand on her own she's a person without being attached to a man and at the time oh she was either with tochi or she was with ozo or she was with prince or she was with tricky t so it just looks like she was moving from one place to another that was why she made that statement so they shall try to settle that out and that was how they moved from there they now asked dorothy okay dorothy what do you think at the time did you think that nengi was being a player moving around Around from place to place Dorothy said yes that from the beginning she knew that oh this whole Nengi thing she's trying to be a player moving from one guy I think that was her strategy or something like that but now I don't think that anyone who can I said what changed she said oh like the last week when they were in the house she and Nengi had the conversation and Nengi cleared things with her clarified explained and also she believed her and that was how she moved past it moving on from there they went to praise you guys they, everybody was already laughing when he got to this part because praise was put up for nomination or be eviction by neo and praise and neo were the like coolest guys in the house we the fans we literally calls them p square because they would dance together vibe together and all that so when neo put up praise for eviction and praise was evicted you guys you know the dramatic scream that neo did and even till now everybody's like why did you do that so praise was given the floor to speak and he was like he didn't understand it till now and even though neo had met him and said oh guy whatever happened in the house you know he has not really explain to him why he did what he did because he thought they were g's that neo literally came to meet him that see i'm up for eviction if they evict me take care of v for me you are the one that i trust in this house so he's like if you are seeing me like that why did you put me up for eviction and neo was trying to explain himself according to neo at the time v was up for eviction trickity was up for eviction watoni and then praise so he said a lot of people liked praise praise was a safe guy let me put it that way praise was a safe guy but trickity he felt like trickity was up every other time and trickity needed any votes that he can get so that was why he saved trickity and didn't save prince even though the lot of a lot of the housemates even myself even though it's looking like it doesn't make sense but that was it and in his defense he's like he was screaming out of regrets the fact that oh he put him up and then he's leaving that was why he screamed it's not because oh he's feeling that oh i'm surprised that you left no but that was it but people cannot say asking him that okay are you saying that at the time 
praise was not as important because this is a matter of hierarchy. He kept mentioning that, oh, this beautiful lady here, which is V, oh, V here, I couldn't, of course, put her up for nomination. A lot of people didn't really like her in the house at the time. So every vote that she needed, she needed to get it. So that was why he picked V, of course, definitely would pick V. So we're going to say, it means that praise wasn't important because if he was important, he could have picked him. He now was trying to, he said, just answer the question. He said, okay, well, yes, but sorry, Sha, sorry. So Prince and Neil shook hands and they sort, sorted it out. They moved on past that. People kind of asked Prince that, that does he think that it's okay for people to feel bad when people nominated them for eviction? Prince now said, if the person is close to you, the person is your friend, yes, you definitely feel bad. It depends on the kind of relationship that you have with the person that you are nominating. Because for him, that's Prince speaking now, for him, Neil nominated him and besides that he heard about things that Neil said about him and the one that pains him the most is the one that Neil spoke about his dad that big brother asked him if anybody was faking this whole crying thing about the time that they were talking about their dad or their mom that Neil now mentioned his name and it was so painful that Neil would think that he's lying about his dad that everybody knows who he is and his dad is a prominent person his dad is still very much alive it means that his dad is watching the show so saying that I'm going to be lying on national TV where millions of people are going to be watching and you are supposed to be my G like we I called you brother several times and we were close he said see I cleaned up Neo's vomit and I, me too I was shocked really he said yes that when Neo threw up that view was like oh why didn't you wake me up and nobody was like no need he cleaned the vomit and he said he wouldn't do that for just anybody he did it for Neo because he felt like Neo was his brother and for Neo to not just only put him up talk about his dad like that and then was forming friendship that was not there that it really pissed him off. He just felt like, oh, Neo is a snake. Neo, in fact, he doesn't even want to try because Neo tried to come and apologize to him to make things work, come back. But he said, no, he wasn't cut out for that. So he just shot blanked him. Neo, in his defense, now tried to explain that. He didn't really say that Prince was lying about his dad's situation. It was a simple question. Who did you think was faking it? And he said it was Prince because he didn't think that Prince should have cried as much. And after going round and round circles, round and round circles, Ebuka trying to cut him, bring him back. He now said what it is is that he felt like Prince was supposed to be a hard guy, like harder guy. So him crying was just really strange for him. He didn't think that he should be crying for that. Because Ebuka was like, other people cried, Tricky T cried. Other people, why did you think it was Prince? He said he didn't think that Prince was soft like that. Prince is supposed to be a hard guy. That was why he thought Prince was faking it. So Ebuka was like, okay, the whole apology thing. He said, yeah, he tried to apologize. He tried to reach out to Prince. And Prince was like, no, that apology was not even real apology because the final day, the finale, when they all met were in the bus, Prince openly said it out loud to everybody in the bus. He said, I've watched clips. I've seen videos. Nobody should try to come and be my friend because the same energy that you have kept in the house, just continue it like that. Don't come and pretend any kind of pretentious thing with me. So because of that, he felt like, okay, everybody was trying to keep their cool, you know. So he said, Neo now came and met him at the pavement on Brito's bed. So, oh, guy, you know that uh, now you be my competition for house. So, you know, all these things will not happen for house. We collect and pass, pass us by, you know, and they exchange numbers. But Neo didn't really, you know, apologize about what he did. And he still feels like that apology was fake because Neo just wanted them to come back to his good books but no 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 you're not going to come back to my good books you have done what you have done i feel like you made a conscious decision by doing what you did at the time so there's no need to come and be forming friendship outside here according to neo that was him trying to apologize and even besides that he tried to call prince twice and prince didn't pick up his call neither did he return his call and prince is like we chat so why didn't you just chat me up about it if you really really wanted to apologize the shot went round and round in circles and ibuka said okay v let's come to you let's ask you v now said why me why does it have to be me he said because you're truthful you're blunt you're going to say it as it is and v is like does prince have the right to feel the way he's feeling yes and according to v she's hearing about this for the first time she didn't know that this kind of thing transpired that neo should just apologize to prince that yes he has done what he has done own it apologize prince has the right to feel the way he's feeling because if you talk about my dad like that and really him and prince they were close so he didn't she didn't know why that happened that 
knew she just apologized and move on. So Ebukana said, oh, he has, he has apologized, but they don't have to be friends. They are cordial and that is it. That's where they are. And that is okay. Ebuka also asked Trikiti what he thinks about it. And Trikiti is like, Prince should um, feel the way he's feeling, definitely. And Neo should also apologize. Almost all the housemates, even um, Praise. Praise now made a statement. Praise made a point here. He said, Neo didn't come to meet Prince to apologize for this particular thing that he said about Prince's dad. Because even for him, when he came out of the house on that day of the finale, as soon as he saw Praise, he held praise really really tightly so you can say that okay he felt that he was feeling bad about what he had done to him so praise said he held him really tightly and said guy everything we don't happen for the house we could just live out for the house you know and he felt that like, okay that was the apology that he needed and all and at this point praise they shook hands and they had made out and all he said but for this whole princess thing he didn't think that new Ovun had it in his mind or remembered that oh i have said something about his dad i was trying to apologize for that so i don't think that was the case it's just normal oh what has happened in the house let's just stay there and pass but new was that was like he remembers what he said and he was really apologizing for what he had said about Prince. Moving on from there, they now played the clip of the whole V, Watoni and Tolani badge quarrel. So you guys, you remember the whole bed situation? So when they came back, they now asked V that, oh, Sister V, what even happened that day? Because she was like, you are behaving like somebody that is mad. You are mad with the accent. So she was like, it was just clear misunderstanding she just really wanted Watoni to be comfortable and Watoni wasn't getting it and she didn't like the fact that Watoni went about from place to place telling everybody that oh this is what V did this and she said she doesn't like repeating herself she hates repetition and she just kept going that's why she was like please please so she just told her and the annoying part is that she didn't have any problem with Watoni at all she has love for Watoni so if it even was just surprising and annoying that Watoni would think that she meant evil for her. But looking back at everything right now, she has come to understand that it was the whole Tolani badge, Watoni and Prince mix that she found herself inside. It was gonna say, okay, hold up, hold up. Watoni, what do you have to say? Watoni said and for her it was misunderstanding and everything, but she also just stated that they could have just told her, instead of them to say it while she was sleeping, they could have just told her that, oh, Watoni, Watoni moved to this other bed, you know, instead of them to talk about it when she was sleeping. And she said, if it was for my comfort, I wasn't complaining. I was okay where I was. And she also, much later, she had to trace it back to the whole Tolani badge and Prince thing. Because she said she didn't really want to be in their mix. Tolani Badge was clearly having issues with her here and there because of Prince. So she can say that it, it can trace back to that. They asked Trikiti as well. Trikiti said yes, that he can also state that it, it looks like there's a beef with Tolani Badge and Watoni because of Prince. But he doesn't know if that bad thing was part of it. Then there's another thing that Watoni said that everybody, the housemates are like, hmm, ha, hey, 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 hey. She now said, Prince, I wasn't looking at you to date you. I was looking at you. Hey, because you were looking at you for what? So I was looking at you for friendship. She said, I'm not the kind of person that just likes to date I can date easily. I got this virgin at age, age 24. So you can tell the kind of person that I am. It was just friendship. They misunderstood everything about me or me trying to say, oh, Buddha, Buddha. I just needed a go-to person. And I even told Prince at some point that, see, you can go and have your Tolani badge. Please go for it. Apply pressure. And Prince is like, I can't remember you saying that to me. It's like, well, I said it to you that you should apply pressure on Tolani badge. I wasn't looking at dating you. They moved on from there. And then Tolani badge now said, for her, really, it wasn't about Prince at the time sincerely it was just she and v saying oh watoni have your own comfortable space he had nothing to do with prince though maybe she and watoni may have had one or two issues or regarding the whole prince thing but that particular bed scenario had nothing to do with watoni so that was how they wrapped it up then they asked the fan question the fan asked lucy oh lucy did you feel like you were not part of the housemates because of how you Treat, how you were treated in the house and she was like no she didn't feel like she didn't belong she just felt like oh she was overreacting at some point and she got too emotional but feeling like she didn't belong there that was not the feeling at all so that was how they wrapped up this particular episode and please like subscribe i'm going to end it here i'm going to see you on my next one bye guys